Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, obviously, we're going to be doing another makeup tutorial. Shock. But today's makeup tutorial is going to be something fun and vibrant and colourful. So if you want to know how I create this look, then please carry on watching. Okay guys, so as you can see, another background change today. This is where I used to film all my old videos before I actually started properly getting into YouTube. So back in 2013, probably none of them videos. There's a wasp in my bedroom. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so scared. Oh, crap. oh my God, it's on the floor. Oh, out of the window. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. That wasp has gone. I'm kind of shitting my panties right now. <laughs> so, like I was saying, this is where I used to film all my old videos from when I wanted to get into YouTube when I was younger. But then I stopped and then I changed it onto my bed, which is that side. And then down in the bottom room and then just vlogs and downstairs and stuff as well so this bit's never seen but it might start to get seen now because it's a quite a cute little area to film so first of all we're going to start with eyebrows now you all know what i use for eyebrows but if you are new here then I'm just gonna tell you. I use the ABH Dip Brow in Dark Brown and I use the Morphe M158 Angled Brush that's got a spoolie on the end just to do my eyebrows. So I like to get a good amount onto the brush, like so. I'm gonna start carving out the top of my eyebrows first of all so for that I'm gonna take the collection last imperfection concealer in number one and I'm gonna take that on my M410 brush it honestly is such so good for detail and just getting that straight line so I'm just gonna start going around the top So you may look a bit weird at the moment, but that's fine, it's okay. So I'm going to go in, because we are doing a very vibrant look today, I'm going to go in with the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Correct Concealer in the colour CO, which is white. So on an M224 brush, I'm just going to start to carve out underneath the eyes, but mainly focus it on the lid. Yeah, so I'm just going to do one eye first just to show you what we're going to do and then I'll obviously do the other eye off camera and then be back. I'm firstly going to go in with this palette. Now it's new from Rimmel London, I believe. So the other day we went to Boots. They've got a little offer on at the moment. So if you spend £12 or more on any Rimmel products, then you get a free eyeshadow palette and a little liquid lipstick. It is such an amazing eyeshadow palette. I cannot express how amazing this eyeshadow palette is it blends out so well and they've obviously got some other different eyeshadows as well so they've got kind of like a darker themed one with um purples and blues and blacks and things like that and then they've got this neutral color so this one's called magnif eyes spice edition this is what it looks like so we're going to use a few of these today as transition colors and then use the vibrant colors from the james charles palette just to you know get the color so these are the two palettes that we're going to be using today so 
we're gonna go through what colors we're gonna be using so i think from the james charles palette we're probably gonna use some of the orange and red and pink and yellow and um, to get i think we might try a nice sunset look today but just for my transition colors from this palette we're probably gonna use this shade right here and um, i don't think it's got a name for it i don't think they have names uh, nope we're just gonna you know put that here i don't know how to talk in these anymore so as you can see these blend out so nicely they're really buildable so it's really good as you can see look at that okay so i'm gonna take an m433 brush and we are gonna take the red color from the james charles palette now again i'm sorry i do not know what the name of it is i'm so bad with names but we're just gonna start packing that onto the lid And then on an M456 brush, we're gonna take the color 518 and we're gonna just pat that over the top. Just kind of trying to sort out the lighting sitch right now. Hopefully this is okay. I mean, it looks a bit better. So let's just get back into the video. Sorry about that, guys. And then I'm just going to take another M456 brush. And I'm going to take the vibrant pink here at the bottom and just pack it onto the lid. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm just going to do the other eye and then I will be right back. <laughs> okay, guys, so we are back. So what I've done is I've just applied a little bit of eyeliner and some lashes. So the eyeliner that I used was the Rimmel London Exaggerate Liner. And then the lashes that I used are just some tatty lashes. But as you can see, we've got the colours on. It's blended out really nice. So I'm really happy with that. So now we're going to go in with foundation. Now, this is a foundation I have never used before. So there's a little bit of a backstory to this foundation. I went on holiday last year. We saw this. Um, what? When I went on holiday to Spain last year, we saw this in the supermarket. It's a Maybelline foundation. However, they don't sell it in the UK. They may sell it in America. They may sell it in Europe. They just in other European countries, but they don't sell it in the UK. They only sell it as a concealer. It is the Instant Anti-Age Foundation. So it's the Eraser Foundation. This is in the colour Fawn. So I'm not really sure if it's going to be my colour. I also have used the Nivea Cream Moisturiser. Just to soften out my face a little bit. I'm just going to take my M439 brush, just start to blend it in. I am just going to go straight in and apply concealer to the face, just because I need to just cover it up and light it up a little bit. So I'm just going to take an M173 brush just to blend it all out. So I'm literally just patting it in.
Okay, so we're back to our normal colour now. So the other day I got my new... So I have to say, it's the remote match perfection, but they've changed the design of it, which you can tell here. And I really do prefer this design way more than this one because I don't know, it's just more slick and cool and just suits it a lot better than this one, which they've had for years. So, Rimmel, well done for changing up the whole packaging. Um, I appreciate that because this looks a lot better. <laughs> Bless me. I'm just going to Patrick star this. So now we just have to wait for this to set. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my E48 brush, just brush off all of it here. Okay, so we now need to bring the colour back to the face. So I'm going to take my Revolution Bronzer in number one cool and my E4 brush. And also for blusher, we're going to go in with an old time favourite and that is the Coralista blush from Benefit. I'm going to take it on an M405. And now we're just going to take ring light and face from the James Charles palette just to highlight. Mix them both together on a bigger highlighter brush. This is the M501. Okay, so what I've just done then is it just applied a little bit of the colours that we used on the eyeshadows underneath and some mascara as well. So it's a bit more okay so the lip combo today we're gonna take is a little bit different so we're gonna take the mac saw lip liner like always but we're gonna take the satin liquid lip color from rimmel that we got in the pack with the eyeshadow in the color it's girl well i've got a few of these and they're absolutely incredible Now it's time for the liquid lipstick. So this is obviously a little bit lighter than what we put on. So guys, this is the completed vibrant look. If you have enjoyed this video, then please give it a huge thumbs up. It is much appreciated. If you haven't subscribed already and you want to join this little family that we've got going on here, then do hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you never miss a post. Also, go and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think, what videos you would like to see because I will happily create them for you all and yeah all my social media links will also be in the description my instagram is at charlotte thurston and my twitter is at charlotte neve so if you want to go follow me on there then definitely do i do also have two makeup pages so one makeup page is for my social media and everything like that and that is just charlotte thurston and it'll be a photo of me like this 
that. And then I also do have my makeup page, which is my business page. So if you ever wanted your makeup doing for prom, birthday, wedding, any sort of event, then that is Charlotte Thriston MUA. And I will obviously leave both of them links down in the description as well. So if you do want to book in with me, then head on over there and drop me a message and I'll reply to you. Yeah. I hope you've all enjoyed this video guys and I will see you on Friday. Oh, no.